guys so i just wanted to do a video on my favorite elf products and my not so favorite elf products um i do have to say that majority of the elf products that i do own i genuinely love and i think that it's an amazing amazing company and so so affordable no i'm not being sponsored by them i'm not being paid blah 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 no um this is just my honest opinion because i really love their stuff and i think that they're so affordable like Everything on this website is between like a dollar and three dollars and I know that most of you do know about it But let's just say you found my video randomly and you're searching to figure out about elf um, Yeah, the prices are amazing like you really can't I'm gonna do my loves first I guess loves loaves I kind of made that up even though I don't really loathe anything from elf I kind of like everything it's just I guess like not so favorite right I guess that's a good right first thing I do have to say that I love is the elf mineral eyeshadow primer um it's very similar consistency to the um urban decay primer potion which I absolutely love and use all the time um I do, I have to be honest, I do find that my eyeshadow does stay on a little bit more with this. Um, so if I'm going out like with a lot of heavy shadow, like kind of like today, um, I did prime my eyes with this. But this is amazing. I wear this every day and it's only a dollar and this is 16 So again, I'm not going to say that they're complete dupes because I do prefer Urban Decay. But this is pretty amazing like to not waste this at all and use this all the time. Although I do find that this doesn't last as long. But I mean, a dollar... 17 or 18 dollars come on the second thing that i love and i will never ever 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 loving is the elf eyelash curler um this is i think a dollar again and it just works amazing like it curls your lashes um they actually come with an extra little thing here which is awesome elf conditioning lip balm i only have it in one i have it in peaceful pink and i absolutely love it um it smells delicious i can't even explain to you what does ooh, what does it smell like I don't know, Play-Doh mixed with, like, goodness. It looks like it's actually really, really pretty pink, but it really conditions, moistens your lips. Um, I don't really wear it to bed because I don't really want this over my white pillow, but um, I do love wearing it throughout the day, and I'm not a fan of the jar because I don't really like digging my finger in and out, but for 2 3 was $3.00. I mean, this is pretty legit. The next thing that I love is this e.l.f. concealer pencil and brush. And it's really cool because it comes in this little um, cap that you can sharpen, which is freaking handy. Um, so I love that. And I just love this for, like, mainly, like, fixing my eyebrows or, like, um, going around, like, under my lips when I'm wearing a dark color. Um, it's just an amazing concealer pen. I don't really, like, draw on a blemish because I feel like that would just apply too much pressure to the other side. Okay, my brush is kind of gross. This is so old. I've had this forever. Um, is this really nice, smooth concealer brush. So if you, like, have a little, like, dark spot or something like that, and you just want to put this over it, um, this is actually good for your eyebrows, too. Next e.l.f. product that I love and have been loving is this Makeup Lock and Seal. And it comes with this brush, which it's kind of hard because the seal stuff is kind of hard. But um, it comes with this little cap. You just pour this in here. And you can use this to set your eyebrows. You can use it to um, set your, like, eyeshadows, like your mineral eyeshadows or anything like that. Or just regular eyeshadows. I just use it to set my eyebrows on a um, spoolie. I don't use that brush, actually. I just use this. I kind of just dip it in here and then go like this. And it makes my eyebrows stay in place for a really long time. So this is, like, $3. I'm not really sure what the other uses are, but I should look them up. And maybe I'll list them because this is pretty good stuff. My next L favorite, which is one that I have been loving. I actually just recently picked this up, is this e.l.f. Mascara Primer. It's like this. Um, I've actually tried the MAC, I think it's by MAC, Zoom Lash or something. This is amazing. This is very, like, I would say almost a dupe for it. You're paying how much for the MAC one, and this is exactly the same stuff, in my opinion. It has little fibers that attach on the end of your lashes, so this is even like really amazing for your bottom lashes because it really I think lengthens them it's not like a lash serum like a grow lash serum so it's not going to make them actually super longer but um I feel like mine look longer especially when I use this all the time underneath every single mess okay. next thing that I love from elf is one of my all-time favorite powders I actually just talked about this in my last video of a powder Ooh, there it goes um I think I need to get a new one of this this is like the most expensive thing on the website and it's like what six dollars so you really can't beat that either either this is a high definition powder and sorry mine's a ridiculous mess right now but this just feels amazing it definitely compares to um makeup forever high definition powder and my new favorite which is the it cuts it cosmetics powder um this stuff just sets your makeup so nicely it's such a smooth and um 
flawless finish. Very flawless finish, in my opinion. Your pores, like, disappear. Your e.l.f. product that is one of my all-time favorites is the e.l.f. Press Powder. To me, this compares pretty much almost identical to the any of the MAC powders. I haven't tried all the MAC powders, but I've tried a lot of them, enough to um, make this statement that this is pretty much equivalent. Um, I love MAC. Um, don't get me wrong. I love MAC eyeshadow. I love MAC lipstick, but there are certain things that I don't want to pay that much for it. So um, this was three bucks and this powder is amazing. It's very matte. It sets your makeup fantastically. If you want to just put on a studio, a studio, if you want to just put on like a tinted moisturizer and um, t bring this for touch-ups, you're good to go. Um, I really like this also because it has this little puffy thingy in here. And I mean, if you want, you could like hide something in there. I don't know what you really hide. Okay. That sounds weird. I'm not talking about like a drug or anything. Okay, love, love, love the um, contouring brush and bronzer powder. Now, every time I see someone that talks about this, they, it's two things. So first of all, a lot of people say that it's a dupe for Laguna and Orgasm. Um, I disagree. And another thing is that people always have the blush kind of full and the bronzer like hit pan or whatever. And on mine, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this bronzer and the blush I don't mind if I do have to use it um, if I'm on the go and I only have this why not I'll use it but it's a little bit too sparkly for my liking and um, it's just not exactly like comparable to my other blushes like it's okay there's just nothing special about it the bronzer on the other hand I absolutely love um, I'm not a huge huge Laguna fan so I don't really think they're dupes. Um, they def this is definitely more affordable than the NARS price, so I do recommend this um, if you're looking for like a cheap product, but um, I do not think this is a exact dupe. I think it's just because um, people talk about the duo and the colors, and I mean, if you're not like super into makeup, you'll of course think that they're similar shades, but um, coming from someone who has like over 20 blushes, I see a complete difference in orgasm and this. And I really don't like this blush. Um, it's just, it doesn't do anything for me. So. Another, my favorites are these blushes. These are $3 and they are so pigmented and so amazing. Um, I have, I think, six. I have Peachy Keen, um, Candid Coral, Gotta Glow, Merry Mauve, Berry Mauve, I don't know, something with mauve in it, and um, Pink Passion, and one other. I can't really think of it. Tickled Pink. I love these blushes. They are so pigmented. They have a little bit less lasting powder than um, higher end blushes, but they're only $3, so you really can't beat it. Okay, and my last few favorite products are these e.l.f. trios, and they just look like this. They're only a dollar, and for one dollar, you're getting amazing, like, amazingly pigmented shadows. And if you're just getting into makeup, I highly recommend these because you can play around with so many different colors, and you don't need a ton of pig, uh, pigment. Uh, you don't need a ton of product because you're just like getting to know, or even if you're not just getting to know makeup. Wow, this green is super pretty. I didn't realize this. I'm going to use this tomorrow. There are tons of other trios. Um, I just can't find any right now. This is in Drama, which is awesome if you're just like getting into smoky eyes. These are great for beginners. This is a really, really pretty gray. Um, black, really pigmented, and then another gray. I'm going to use these, actually. I, I just have them, like, laying aside, which I used to use them a lot, but now, since my makeup collection's growing, I kind of haven't used them as much, but for one dollar, these are phenomenal. These are, like, the deal of the day. I know a lot of people say that. This black? I mean, look at that. Okay, well, I'm not trying to flick anyone off, or myself. Is that even the same? Does it, does the finger have as much power when you're if you're holding it this way, or does it have to be the other way? Let me just show you the pigmentation. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff for like a dollar. Okay, wow, that looks sloppy as hell. Now we are going to slowly venture in my not so favorite products, and I don't really have that many, I have to be honest. I really, really love e.l.f. But if I have to say, if I had to give away to like um, a trash man, like a garbage collector, if he said like, I have to take a few of your e.l.f. products, or, okay, that would never happen. But I have to say that I don't actually have it because I actually think I did throw it away. Maybe it was just a bad product. I don't know. I feel terrible saying this, but the face primer. $3. Um, it's in a bottle like this. I wish I had it, but I think I threw it away maybe seven months ago. I tried it. It just was putting, like, I felt like I was just um, slipping my hand into a bucket of grease and sliding it on my face. Um, I'm very, I am a fan of the silicone primers. 
I just did not like that. There was something wet and gross, like a wet consistency in mine, and I just hated it. And it also made my face like break out, like get rash, get a rash or something. Now I'm not saying that for everyone because I do hear great things about it, but it's one of those products that I feel like primers, especially just some people, um, I think all everyone's face reacts different because you are putting a substance over your face and, um, I just feel like a lot of different primers work for people and then don't work for others. So um, I know people have talked about putting monostat chafing gel on their face and loving it. I cannot do that. I tried it once and I swear I resembled an apple and go out of the house because I just felt like I, my skin had the worst reaction. Second thing I do have to say that I, I'm not the hugest fan of are um, the Hyper Shine glosses. I don't know why. I just, they are so sticky to me and they're pretty colors, but then like I put I see them on and I'm like oh that's nice but then on me they just kind of slide off and they like my hair will get stuck in them and I don't know they don't smell too bad they're you know not terrible terrible products it's just I would prefer my other lip glosses um, by other companies before I go back to getting this um, what's this like lemonade magic or something actually I completely made that up perfect pink actually where did I get lemonade from Wow, what, am, what is wrong with me? That's a pretty color on here, but then like I'll put it on my lips and I just, I don't know, it smells too sugary or candy-like for me and they just don't last as much. Next thing that I have to say I'm not a huge, huge fan of is this matte lip color. And honestly, you guys, I think it's just because of the color. I'm sure if I had another color that was more of my taste, I'd probably love this. But right now I'm just going to throw it in here. Um, this is in natural and I just... It looks like it'd be awesome, but it's just not my color pink. Like, I guess it's more mauve-y or something. I love mauve and stuff like darker pinks. I'm sure you would love this, but for me, it's like I either really like really light baby pinks or like really, really bright pinks like what's on my lips right now. So this is kind of just, I feel like I wasted money. Like, I don't want to give it away because my lips were on it. That's kind of disgusting, but I just feel like for 2 or $3, whatever this was, I'm never going to wear it. Same with this really really popular lipstick I know everybody loves it uh, I just can't say this seem um, I'm a leader not a follower I can't follow the crowd or hop on the bandwagon I've tried so hard to love this color but I just don't like it at all it is runway pink by elf um, I really really like pink lipsticks obviously I think everyone who's watched one of my videos could probably deduct that but this color I don't know it just is not pink to me like I mean obviously I'm not colorblind it's not like black but it just doesn't look as pretty on me as I feel like it does on other people. Like, I remember I complimented, maybe it was uh, Stephanie SMLXO once, I was like, oh my god, your lips look gorgeous, what color is that? And she said this, and I was like, oh, that's funny, because I have this, and it just doesn't look right on me. Do you guys ever have that? Like, sorry to keep looking in the mirror here. Oh, stop. Um, do you guys ever have that where it looks great on somebody else, but then on you, you're like, what? That happens to me a lot with, like, light pinks or um, and my ex lipsticks a lot. I don't know why I hate it, but this is one of those. Oh, I just broke it. Great. Um, it's nice packaging. I just haven't really had the guts to try any others because this was $5, which for e.l.f. is kind of expensive. So I just don't wear it. And I guess it's just more of, I'm more into the daring colors. Okay, last but not least, it's actually in the BH Cosmetics palette because um, I put this in here. I'm not going to talk about the whole palette. I'm just going to talk about the one e.l.f. shadow. So these are all BH Cosmetics. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I didn't get this for free, yada yada, but this isn't even about that. Um, this is just because I took out a few of the BH. I customized my own palette a while ago, and I took out a few of the ones that I didn't really use when I picked um, up a few e.l.f. eyeshadows when I was at Kmart one day. So these are the few e.l.f. shadows. I'm just going to take them out right now. Um, I picked up four, but I don't know where the other one is. Or maybe I only picked up three. I'm not sure. So, okay. BH Cosmetics. See you later. These are the two elves that I picked up, and it says, this is Periwinkle, and this is Dusk. And I thought they looked so pretty, and I was like, oh, you can never go wrong with having, like, blackish or grays or whatever for a smoky eye. And I just, I can't stand these. Um, I don't usually say this about eyeshadows, and I actually like ones I talked about before. Um, the um, elf trios, but these are just awful. These $1 shadows are one of those you get what you pay for type deals. Um, okay, you put your finger in here and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, but it's like, it falls apart. Like, maybe on the eyelid this is pretty, 
but it's just so powdery that I can't deal with it. And it kind of destroyed my BH Cosmetics palette because it just kind of, um, oh, hello. It kind of just, oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to blind anyone. I don't know why people say that. I'm not really going to blind you, but okay. Um, and so it just kind of got all this gray shimmery powder eyeshadow in all of these and I was kind of annoyed at that and I actually just kept this for this video I'm actually gonna chuck this right now because it just it broke I barely used it and it's already broken and I just feel like um I'm not about spending tons of money on eyeshadows but come on I mean if it's gonna break right in your hand what's the point of paying even a dollar for this um the same with this one this is periwinkle it's a pretty color um, but it's just so powdery, and the pigmentation isn't even that amazing for what it is, which is funny because I really do like the e.l.f. trios, which the pigmentation is great. Those are my favorites and not-so-favorites of my e.l.f. products. Um, oh, wait, okay, one more favorite that I have to say is my e.l.f. tinted moisturizer. Um, this is in the shade Nude, and it's just a really, really light consistency. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, good thing it's really cheap because um, I need to get a new one because I think I just squirted the entire bottle onto my hand for the purpose of this video. Fantastic. What in God's name am I going to do with this right now? Um, I mean, I guess I can continue the video and think about what to do with that. Is there a way to save it? I guess I could put it in a jar. Anyway, you guys, so... Oh, this is awkward talking like this. Okay, anyway, you guys, so this is my e.l.f. video on my like loves and not so much loves if you guys have any questions please let me know comment below your favorite elf products if you have like any videos that you want to link as a video response please go ahead and i will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching guys bye i was uploading my elf video and i realized that i had left out like quite a few products not too many but i figured if you already stuck around to the end of the video what's the difference between 17 or 18 minutes so thanks so much for sticking around sorry this video is so co uh, complete coverage concealer and mine is in the color light i think yeah and this stuff is amazing. I have already hit pan, as you can see, on every single color. It's just so perfect for not only brightening under your eyes, but also for covering blemishes or reds, any red areas um, like rosacea or anything like that. The colors range from really, really light to yellowish, which really, really helps um, with any sort of red areas on your skin. And I absolutely love this. For $3, this is a bargain. I actually just ordered another one from e.l.f. when I placed another order yesterday. So again, the Complete Coverage Concealer is um. And then I do love these e.l.f. Dramatic Lashes. They are a dollar. I wear them out so much. This is like my sixth pair. Um, I really have nothing to say about them except they're amazing and they're only a dollar. Dramatic Lashes, amazing. Okay, and the last thing that I want to talk about is this um, eyeshadow palette. Let's see, what what's it called? Oh, eyeshadow. Oh, how creative. Thanks, e.l.f. Anyway, um, this, is, this is a weird product. Like, the colors look pretty, but this is the type of product that I feel like I would give to my little cousin if she wants to, like, play with my makeup instead of, you know, giving her my higher-end stuff. Or even just drugstore stuff that is good. The blue is pretty pigmented. I like that. But majority of these shadows are just not as pigmented, kind of powdery, and I feel like they just don't even look that good on my eyes. Like, just not really good quality at all. And I think this is between 10 and $15, and I just wouldn't pay that much um, especially for e.l.f., like, that's pretty expensive for e.l.f., and I just feel like they aren't good, good, they don't have good pigmentation, and they don't even last long, and they're very powdery, so not a fan of this palette. I don't even know what it's called. It doesn't really have a name, but yeah, I do not recommend it.